This is the Bear Country Outdoors Barely a Podcast. I'm your host, Doug Joyce, and with me is James Forslund and Chris Cantrell. Thanks for joining. Welcome back, everybody. Tonight we have a special guest, Mr. Bjorn Solid. Nice to have you. Yeah, thanks for coming. Thanks for having me, guys. Mm -hmm. Good to be here. Absolutely. So, Chris, tell us what you got in mind you got going on in your head. Oh, we, we have some we have some current events, but uh, we're trying to keep uh, with the uh, let's call it the, the the Randy Newberg style of podcast. Randy Newberg <laughs> style yeah. of podcast. Yeah. Clean yeah. edition. The clean. Well, I'm not going to be clean, but he gave us <laughs> gifts when we were on his podcast, so yeah. we're going to give Bjorn oh, a yep. gift. All right. So right here we have a special edition Bear Country Outdoors. Uh, Bear Hunter's Life T-shirt. That was a special edition for the film. So you yeah, great. Well, there thanks go, a lot, buddy. guys. Yeah, yeah. We're, n- we're never making those again. Oh, so we're, we're proudly, <laughs> we're, <laughs> we're never going to make that exact shirt again. All right. uh, so you got it, limited guys. edition. It's going to be worth a gajillion dollars. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> someday. Mm-hmm. Thank you much. Yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> so we're going to hear from Bjorn, right? Mm-hmm. But uh, we had something happen. What what's the date today? It's Wednesday. The is the twenty eighth. Okay, so last night. Um, they passed House Bill twenty one eighteen, which Ugh. is basically the death to FFL bill, yeah. right? Mm-hmm. So Washington State that passed, passed the House. It yeah, passed yeah. the House. Now it's sitting on Inslee's desk waiting yeah. for him to sign. So which oh, he will obviously. Yeah. Um, no, he won't. He's he seems like a straight shooter. Yeah, he's a straight shooter. He's a real straight shooter. He wants you know? to give more guns to Ukraine, but you know, yeah, he, he just wants to take our us. take our laws away. Right? Guy, okay. Well, right maybe away. that's why he wants them. He wants to give them to Ukraine, <laughs> uh, right? Uh, yeah, this guy's a freaking joke. So, uh, long story short, <laughs> don't get him started on <laughs> yeah. Inslee. Oh, yeah. Yeah, my, Do you like him? Right? He's my favorite human being. <laughs> on the just like Trudeau. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, I can do this. <laughs> agreed, no, agreed. Swears. no swears. No swears. No swears. Usa. Uh, <laughs> there's a lot. There's a lot to unpack in this bill, um, but basically, it's targeting FFL specifically in Washington, uh, strategically, right? So, those of you who don't know, uh, Washington State just took over the background checks. What is that? And this was uh, as of as of January first. Their safe system went into place. February first, it was it was required by all FFLs in Washington State. You cannot run a background check through the NICS federal background check system anymore, which is like the gold standard which of background is, checks. Which is a joke because <clears throat> I mean, if you look at the way Washington runs everything else, yeah. You it's can tell that gonna they're going to follow suit. Yeah, they don't know how to run a business. That's why everyone, you know, right. is like, that's why we have no homeless people and we're all our programs Remember during COVID flawlessly. when we gave away all of the unemployment money to some random pre- people over in like Syria or something? Yeah, like, what happened to that? Yeah. Hundreds of millions of dollars. I never heard anything about I it. I never again. heard anything about no. that. Strong work, Jay. But maybe that's the way they'll run the FFL dealer or the FFL uh, yeah, system so as well. Yeah, so you can't, you can't uh, legally buy a gun in Washington. Uh, unless you go through an FFL, now the FFL has to go through this safe check, oh, geez. safe background yeah. system, right? It's already been in a safe background system. Oh, dude, it's terrible. So basically, they took everything away from um, the AT or the uh, uh, the FBI, the next background check, right? So now we have to go to the state, right? And this is brand new. Mm-hmm. Like literally, the first of February was the very first day that you could not run it through the next background check nationally, right? Yeah. Now it's run to the state, which they charge an extra 18 bucks. They're nickel and diamonds to death. Yeah. I'm not going to talk about that part. I'm going to talk about how on the 1st of February this goes into effect. Now, here we are a couple weeks later, and all of a sudden, hey, geez, there's this new law that's basically going to put all of us out of business, mm-hmm. right? So they're they're making all these outlandish requirements, and it's for public safety, right? <laughs> because people who buy guns legally are the ones who commit the crimes. Yeah. So now you have to have a state license to log into their safe system to run a background check, right? Not my federal license, not my federal FFL license. I have to have a state license. Right. Now, if they don't renew that state license, I can't log in to their system, and therefore I'm out of business, right? Right, which they could yeah. use at their discretion so Which they're going right? to do. Which they will do. Which yeah, they're going to do. 100%. Yeah. So uh, William Kirk was talking about this in Washington Gun Law. Basically, they're just going to come in and wipe out like 90-some-odd percent of the mm-hmm. FFLs, and, and this is going to happen this year. So yeah. Uh, yeah. 
I'm sure it's going to go through. It's a horrible, horrible bill. I mean, you know it's bad when the Seattle Times, who's the most far left, liberal, gun hating, uh-huh. you know, entity of 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 media in Washington State, which is fine. You can hate guns. I don't give a shit. You know, right. I like guns. You hate guns. We'll balance each other out, right? <laughs> but they even wrote an article that said, "Hey, this is the there's three gun bills going through. Two of them are great. Yay." Yeah, this one is bad. They're like you're just putting gun dealers out of business. It's a business, right? Right. So you're ruining all these people's lives. Well, it has a livelihood, a, like an economical oh, consequence huge. too, because yeah. that's there's a lot of money and revenue in gun sales in the state a of bunch. Washington. A lot of taxes. Yeah. So that's all going away. Yeah. How are they going to enforce it? Is it going to kick off the next civil war? Is there going to be massive? I don't know what's going to happen, but I I can tell you this that. If they come in my shop and shut me down because I don't have two years of of audio surveillance for them, you know, or some sort of ridiculous thing, or they take away my state license, you know, it's it's a. Uh, I think there's a lot of us that are not going to go by the wayside quietly. Right. So it's yeah. it's disappointing. So it's while extremely we're extremely disappointing. While we're on that, I was gonna. There's a couple questions mm-hmm. that came in from <clears throat> listeners that wanted to weigh in on that, and. Uh, Good old friend Tim Galday. Oh yeah, good old Tim. He says, "When do we when do we band together and end the tyranny?" Oh, yeah. <laughs> and the question <laughs> is going to get us like kicked off of YouTube. That, that's, that's what they say. Don't poke the bear. Right. Yeah. yeah. And they've been doing that a lot lately. They you know, it's, I mean, here's what I'll say on that. Like, I'm not going to go too far into it because it will get us <laughs> you, kicked We'll off go it. down a rabbit yeah. hole yeah. and yeah. lose track of time and they'll be like, oh, but shit. But what I will say on that is that eventually something has to give. Like, we can't continue this forever unless we want to be communist China. Yeah. You know? Okay. So at some point, yeah, somebody's going to have to band together and finally do something about it well they keep it's like they keep like you're saying doug they like keep poking the bear right they keep telling me like hey put up your dukes put up your dukes and then when we put up our dukes they're going to be like oh no no we were just joking no, don't mm-hmm. no, we're just kidding around. No, no, we're just kidding around mm-hmm. and once it comes to that it's you know it would be too late right yeah. yeah yeah so i mean we already how many like attorney we were just talking about sportsman's alliance like how many lawsuits i mean they just got their their own legal division now so how many more lawsuits do we have to come together to sue the state to just put it back well, to mean, normal? And there's so many organizations. And then, and then they them. just appeal it. Yeah. Right. It just yeah. goes around and around and around. Right. Bob Wilson. Ferguson's a freaking snake. But <laughs> yeah. It's like they're just draining they're the just sportsmen draining. and the gun owners of America financially by yeah. running all this stuff through. Like, <clears throat> you know, we don't want to give our hard earned money to sue people we'd rather give it for real conservation or real uh-huh. you know organizations that are going to make good instead of just giving it to lawyers to piss away yeah yeah and go around in a big circle it's just yeah. crazy so yeah it's a it's frustrating and so what is what does it mean though like for so basically they're going to come through and they're there so it's a, it was a it was the same thing like um all, like the assault weapons ban is for public safety, right? So mm-hmm. they can do basically whatever they want. Um, but when it boils down to it, it's when you read through the bill, it's alarming about how they dictate their authority, saying any law enforcement can be in your shop at any time and basically shut you down for anything. You know, like mm-hmm. when you really look at it and you're like, okay, well, what's, what's the goal here? You know, well, so... Yeah. The goal pretty is up, pretty clear. If I can't sell guns, right? So I manufacture like today. I spent all day in the shop building guns for the Skagit County Sheriff's Department. Now, Skagit County Sheriff's Department's good guys, right? Yeah. yeah, we're the good guys. So if I can't build guns for them, and who knows who's doing it for the state troopers, you know? And mm-hmm. if you're a state trooper and you're listening to this, and if you're a good guy. I'd love to meet you because I've never met an ice <laughs> But uh, uh, always uh, been dicks to me. <laughs> but I happen to know one state yeah. trooper. That's a pretty cool Do guy. You? Yeah, I'd love to meet him. He's a young, he's a young yeah. kid, but he's okay. He's well, a, bring he's him young, in, maybe that's bring why. him in, Doug. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. So because I'm in the same boat. Well, as Chris. the funny thing is, he actually <laughs> wants to be one of the pilots that flies back and forth on highway okay. on I ninety. Oh, he wants to get me all deceptively. I'm already starting to like this guy. Get your 
little <laughs> speedy. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, we sneaky, go. sneaky. Oh, yeah. okay. But to stay on point here, if I can't sell guns, you can't buy guns, we don't have guns, mm-hmm. then they can take over and do whatever they want. The only thing that is stopping them from doing whatever they want is armed citizens, right? Mm-hmm. Like, oh. say, for instance, say that we wanted to go, like, let's way off the deep end. We All of a sudden, we're communists. They want to come and take your house. They want to do whatever they want. Um, and we're going to get into this more when we start talking about my Africa trip coming up, but that's what they did in Africa, right? Like, and there are yeah. certain countries where they just came back and they just took things yep. from people, right? Yep. And they could do that because the people don't have any firearms, right? So You don't have a way to, to stop them. And yeah. They no. do whatever they want. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, if I could just take whatever I wanted and there was no repercussions, like, why wouldn't I do that, right? So that's what that's where the government's at right now, unfortunately. And, and uh, the good thing is, is we still, you know, do have guns to a certain point, even though they're trying to chip away at it. But it's gonna mm-hmm. it's gonna come like you know, it's gonna come to it's gonna come to a head. You know, it has to if they're gonna keep pushing and keep pushing. And I'd rather not fight a civil well, war. I mean, but look know. at no. look at just what's <laughs> happened in the last year alone, yeah. as far as yeah. being a gun owner in the state of Washington. Yeah. And you go, man, it's escalating quickly. Yeah. Like it went from like one every couple of years to like boom, 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 boom. And it's like it's almost like a momentum thing. Like mm-hmm. they're like, oh, let's just keep mm-hmm. shoving more bills through. We'll just keep yeah. plugging away at it. You know what? You know what? I can, I can, I can, uh, I can liken it to like December for myself. Right. This is what our government's like. I swear to God, this is a perfect example. Like in December. It's cold and it's crappy here in Washington State. Mm-hmm. And my mom baked like thirty fruit cakes and pies and treats and, <laughs> and I'm sitting on the couch and I'm just shoving my face full of all this stuff after I've worked out all year and I'm sitting there and I'm thinking like, why am I doing this to myself? Why do I have this self destructive behavior <laughs> yeah. where yeah. I'm just gonna get so fat and obese and gross? Yeah. And that's a hundred percent what our our Washington State Yeah governor's doing and, and everyone who's shoving this crap down our throat it's just a self-destructive behavior of just uh-huh. like I, they know it's bad they're gonna do it anyways and all of a sudden they're gonna be like oh we're fat and there's repercussions you know and mm-hmm. then we're gonna be the repercussions because you can't keep push you can't keep poking us without thinking nothing will happen right and so. next, next generation with our kids getting into yeah outdoors and sports and hunting and you know what's happening to them when yeah. they push all these laws through now. Exactly. Well, it's not yeah. looking good for our our kids. No, <laughs> not sure. at all. Not hunting wise. No. Not firearm wise. Not country wise. Not moral wise. I do. It's like, oh, man, we picked a hell of a time to have kids. I'll tell you that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's no doubt about it. Yeah. yeah. It's too bad. So, anyways, long story short, I'm sure Jay is going to sign it. I don't know how they're going to enforce it. I think there's a lot of stuff in the country period that's going on right now that's like we're on the brink of like prepare yourself yeah <laughs> of of just yeah. you know i'm i'm sick of the shit basically is what it boils mm-hmm. down to and like i'm you know i'm not saying i'm gonna go like assault jay Inslee because that's not that's not how to fix these things but there's so many people that think like him that just think like oh we live in this little concrete box in the city and we just do whatever we want and everything's fine and as long as i get my my meals delivered to me by uber eats and everything's great you know and I don't eat meat, and you're the devil. Yeah. Like, that's... Well, you know. it comes and, down to, like, people have their lifestyle, and they want to be left alone, and we have our lifestyle, and we want to be left alone, but we don't give a shit what these people do on their, with their lifestyle. Get your they Uber wanna, Eats. I don't get, I'm not going to eat that Get your crap, Uber Eats. Ahead. Live in your pod in Seattle. Let it rip. You yeah. know, go get a transgender surgery, whatever. <laughs> I don't care what you yeah. do. But when you start coming after us, and then keep coming after us, and keep coming after us... It's it's like the lion and hyena, yeah, you know, like yeah. the hyena, hyena keeps nipping, nipping at the lion, and, nipping, and they tolerate and yes. it, and they tolerate it, and they tolerate it until the lion just says "screw this" and just bites him on the neck and just rips him to pieces. Yeah, yeah. like and then we're the bad guy. <clears throat> yeah, but I love lions, too. and I'm sure a lot of other countries are just waiting for us to oh, have a civil war. You know, have you, that will just completely sure. have you seen make us super weak? Any foreign media, by the way. No. Oh my God! Like I was well, watching some stuff. Germany stuff. No, like, I, I was watching farmer stuff. I was watching. Well, that oh. was good. Like all the stuff in Europe <laughs> and the farmers and stuff. But I was watching some stuff, and they were making fun of Joe Biden in. Oh yeah, Australia. <laughs> the, the, the Italy places. thing. No, they're yeah. doing it in Italy too. Well, they're doing it everywhere, dude. Joe yeah, Biden's a freaking joke. Too. Like our, our country's a joke. <laughs> you see, right we now. went yeah. on the late night, and he like totally couldn't even keep it together. No, I didn't see that. 
Oh, dude, he's just like uh, well, he's who's just it, a who's potato it that just there. stepped down today? Uh, Conley or is it Conley? The oh, the one old guy that would just always like space out and like go through dementia oh, on stage yeah. and just like stare. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He just stepped down finally. He basically oh, admitted wow. like, hey. My mind is gone, and I can't yeah. do this anymore. Time to night. That's what Biden needs to do. Well, but when you got to wear a diaper and you shit your pants every ten minutes, you know, like fall. <laughs> when you can't make a flight of stairs, yeah, and you when you got to wear the pens, you know, yeah. just shut it down. You know, yeah. time's running out. If you can't enough. get through a sentence, then yeah. I think I think the time has come. When you have. Memes. But you can't put together a sentence. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, the, no. the Ron Burgundy there. memes. You know, like <laughs> if you put it on the teleprompter, he will read it. Oh, I'm yeah. like, that's our president. That's yeah. the leader of the free world right now. If you can't read it, dude. Uh, this, I mean, all jokes aside, it is scary. It's oh, bad. You know, yeah. so where it's going. If uh, if you're listening and you give a shit, I don't know what you can do. You can email. You know. But people do. I don't. You could give don't money, give money, give yeah. money to the organizations that are going to sue the state over this. That's another thing, like Sportsman's Alliance. Yeah. Sportsman's Alliance. The link's still on our page. Uh, mm-hmm. Firearms Policy Coalition, Gun Owners of America, the Silent yeah. Majority Foundation is mm-hmm. a really good one here in Washington. Um, there's a bunch of really good organizations. Even the good old NRA, even though there's been a lot of controversy about you know, their involvement with a lot of things, but yeah, and it's like like this weekend they are I'm, still fighting. I'm going to go to the SCI banquet here, our local banquet, and I'll, you know, I paid a bunch of money to buy a table, and I'll pay money while I'm there, and that'll benefit oh. the organization. Same with the Rocket Man Health Foundation. I'll go there, and I'll do the same. And it's like, mm-hmm. we need to support those who support us, right? So mm-hmm. I think that's, sure. that's the biggest thing is. I feel like that's where all my money goes to outside of, like, I don't buy fancy nice things anymore. I just spend it all on donating <laughs> money to, to places to and fight. Going, and going to events and yeah. trying yeah. to win stuff. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's For a good the only cause. time I'm getting yeah. nice things is if I donate money. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Which, yeah. it's unfortunate that we've come to that, but... yeah. You know, we got to we got to fight for what we believe in and what we want to keep and for our next generation coming up. Well, I got to switch from beer to whiskey here now after that talk. But uh, <laughs> we, we do have a guest. Hey, you were at least able to get through it, Chris. I was. I'm mm-hmm. really it's, it's a it's a really sad thing. It's like yeah. we're at a point now where it's like, you know, you got to think about. You did get. You don't want to think I didn't about. hear any f bombs. Oh, it was no. great. Hopefully that semi bird, you know, he can do something for us. And if, if he fair. could get in, dude, I yeah, would. If semi bird gets in, something. I would be so happy. I'm gonna throw a Real giant nice party. Guy. Like yeah. if semi bird yeah. gets in. A yeah. giant party. I'm gonna have him here. We're gonna have bands. Oh, and I'm gonna great. have. I'm gonna <laughs> have like, great. dude. I We're will, gonna have the biggest hoe yeah. down there is. You That's will. Right. It will blow your socks off. Yeah. Hell yeah, hundred yeah. percent, dude. All day, uh, three day celebration. <laughs> 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 Pack a tent, boys. Hell yeah, yeah. Let's do yeah. it. Let's do right. it. Uh, yeah. Well, Bjorn, uh, why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself? Well, yeah, I grew up around here, and you know, I've commercial fish Bristol Bay, Alaska, for since high school, really, and you know, and try to. Go hunting and fishing as much as I can around here. And Here's Stanwood, Washington, right? Yep. Here's okay. Stanwood, Washington. Born Bjorn's like what, what we call a Stanwood good old boy. He's yeah. a good old boy. Yeah. yeah. Yep. 100%. Yeah. Good old Washington. Good old yeah. Stanwood. Good old Stanwood. Where yeah. are you working right right this second? I'm working up at uh, uh, the oil refiners, Anacortes. Oh, okay, nice. Yeah, so we're in a shutdown right now, so we're pretty busy doing that. And nice. So, yeah, <laughs> doing that and getting ready to head to Alaska and... Yeah, getting everything geared up for that. The barge leaves here next week or so. Nice. So we're just getting that dialed in and getting everything. What's the season like in Alaska? Well, <laughs> <laughs> it's been better. Yeah. But you know, the last last five ten years have been really good. Mm-hmm. You know, we've had good returns of salmon. You know, the Alaskan fishing game actually, you know, they manage them very well. Yeah. And you know, we've had good seasons the last couple of years. You know, with all the Russia war going on and Russia catching so many sockeye. Mm-hmm. They're flooding the market with you know sockeye and pink salmon. Oh really? So the they're shipping all overseas and you know and so that's driving the price down. That's our price is dropping because of that. Oh, yeah, okay. it's your competition and up there. Competition. And we I got know, the farm salmon. Deal and they've been that. pushing. They've been pushing the the lines right, haven't they? Yeah. Damn yeah. it, Russia. <laughs> you know yeah. they've been really coming over uh, into oh, our they, waters. You know. Yeah. Mm. Yep. A lot of international water fishing, and so you're mostly fishing sockeye, though. Yeah, it's primarily sockeye. I mean, we catch you know a dozen kings a summer, but I mean, okay. When we're up there, we're catching, yeah, I mean, yeah, all sockeye, and they're mm-hmm. all you know from anywhere from three to eight pounds, mm-hmm. you know, on average. But you know, most years are about five pound average. Yeah. So we'll 
It's the best eating fish there yeah, is. That's a good yeah. eating fish. It's perfect yeah. fillets. How are you catching these fish? We got a gill net, okay. and you know Bristol Bay. It's thirty-two foot boats, you know, and they're uh, we have nine hundred feet of net, or you know, three hundred fathoms. So when you say around. when you say thirty-two foot boats, like that's a like that's the maximum size. Really? Oh. Yeah. Okay. They started out, you know, years ago. They start out with you know steamships going out there, and the guys were rowing in sailboat days, mm. and. <laughs> Then they went from That's there, wild. then they just... I'm sure it got a little bit more crowded, too, so... Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. A big old steamboat probably wasn't yeah. ideal. <laughs> just run it over. <laughs> <laughs> just pulling up people's gill nets behind their boats. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Don't miss that steamboat. You drift yeah. around for a while. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But, yeah, you just... Yeah, we now we got, you know, 30-foot, 32-foot maximum boats, and, you know, some, some of the newer boats are going 20 feet wide. Mm-hmm. Aluminum, they got three Jeez. jets on the back. They're going 30, 40 knots, and they're just ripping. Damn. A 20 foot wide boat. Yeah, and they're only, they're only doing like a foot or putting half a you know, draft on it. Really? So they're yeah, fishing wow. in the sand, reeling the shallows, and they got yeah. you know, big jets on there. Really? You know, just ripping wherever motors. they want. Dude, people yeah. have gotten good at that kind wow. of like, yeah. You adapt, I guess. Yeah, you just adapt, and mm-hmm. you know, and <laughs> you build your boat to get where you want to go. Yeah. 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 <laughs> huh. I upgraded so boats here a few years ago. Cork everyone else off. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and what yeah. are you running up there? So now I, I got a new boat or new new used boat here a few years ago. And, you know, it's been a lot better. It's, it's got refrigeration on it, a lot bigger motor. Nice. You know, and it's got bow thruster. And it's just that refrigeration chills the fish down to under 40 degrees. So you can have a lot more chilled water. Mm-hmm. Fish are just... Uh, better quality that way. It okay. gives you more time too, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. more yeah. time to market. Yeah, yep. Yeah. We have more fish holes now, so we have, you know, it's this boat. We fill more fish holes, which mm-hmm. is nice. Nice. You know. And how long's your season? You know, it's it's like a six week camping trip up there. You know, you just kind of mm-hmm. go up and the fish show up. You flip a light switch on, the fish show up, and then pretty much they're done. Right, dude. That and sounds a, awesome. And they're done. Really? You know, so you're pretty much gone for a month and a half. You know, and just fishing. And, and do you have a, a limiter? Like a day or yeah, a lot of times Alaskan fishing game they they'll uh, give you two tides a day, or you're mm-hmm. going eighteen hour openers, or you're wide open. You know, oh, so you're fishing eight hours. A lot of times they shut down for low water for mostly king escapement, or get a few fish up the rivers. Yeah, so they want to go past the towers to get. And that's when they release you go fish the next day. Hmm. So they want to have any so many in the river every day, so yeah. they can you know manage the system a lot better. Well, and you recreational fish too. Like, is it mm-hmm. this for me? I've never done this, so I'm just mm-hmm. asking. As like, is it fun commercial fishing? Like, is it as fun as recreational, or is it like, oh, oh this yeah. should be illegal? <laughs> it's too awesome. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure the first time yeah. if you're used to doing recreational fishing, it's yeah. pretty yeah. awesome. Oh. Right? Yeah. We're catching this many fish. You that, see these? That's the how line just light up of sockeye hit, yeah. hit, and it's just it's unreal. You know, I mean, when you're pulling in you know hundreds of fish a set or whatever mm-hmm. and it's just yeah it's a it's a rush you know yeah and, you know and especially well, when you get out front of the next guy catch a fish just, but you're also like man this is a lot of dollars right yeah, now. <laughs> yeah that's a you know yeah. five dollar fish come over there and yeah you know and yeah it's uh i mean i sport fished a lot up in canada and mm-hmm. you know all over the west coast really sport fished all those years and then once started commercial fishing that sport fishing kind of went you know, yeah, you're not like, as much. You're like, I, derbies this, over is, the years, this is way more awesome. Yeah, right. yeah. <laughs> like uh, seeing deck loads on there, bags floating, you know, you got nets just full of fish. And oh, that's, man. That's a blast. That sounds awesome. Especially when your boat's just, you're going back to tender, you're just squatting. You mm. know, you got so much fish on board. And so you said you days. said $5 Trying dollars not a to fish. sink your boat. <laughs> and I'm thinking, like, when I go buy a sockeye dinner yeah. in a restaurant, I'm paying, like, 25 bucks for, like, like a little sliver, four ounce, yeah, a four sliver. ounce fillet, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. So, yeah. how as as like the captain of the boat, and you're mm-hmm. up there, you don't need to get real specific, but like when you sell a fish, yeah. like say average five pound fish, yeah, like you're not getting that twenty five bucks for the four ounce no. fillet, right? No, we're not. <laughs> a lot of it gets lost in the well, you know, these days with inflation and everything. Right. You know, you got shipping costs you got to look at. You got fuel prices keep going up. Oh, yeah. Right. You know, and and that really hits you, you know, and just all the marketing that's going on. They're, they're pushing salmon. You know, they're moving it. Mm-hmm. But you got Russia just flooding all the markets. You got all these other Damn fish, it, farm salmon pushing the markets, you know, so they're really flooding it. And, you know, it's, yeah, you're not getting the, you know, 
25 bucks a little sliver there. Right. You're, you're just putting the net in the water and trying to catch a few more to, you know, and make cover it. Make yeah. up for it. And, yeah. You know, but the, the canners are doing a great job. They've really upgraded their, you know, they've upgraded their systems. We used to can a lot of sockeye, head and gut. Right. You know, but now it's all fillets and flash frozen fillets, and they're just perfect fillets, and they ship out, and they're, you know, a lot of restaurants are buying those and hmm. going that way with it. I don't know. It's hard to beat Bristol Bay sockeye. Yeah. It's it's probably one of the best eaten fish on the planet. I've, I've had some of your fish. It's pretty good. Pretty damn good. Yeah. And no <laughs> no pin bones. Yeah. They're just. Dude. Yeah. I think I have one left in the freezer that I've been saving. So yeah. <laughs> I, bought, I bought a <laughs> whole box. More back like, over to you. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, yeah. Yeah, I don't want to. I just look at it. Every time I open the freezer and look at it, and I shut yeah. the freezer. <laughs> Yeah, you just make sure it's there. Yeah, yeah. He's still there. He's still there. Who's waiting for that special moment there, mm-hmm. Chris? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So I like. I you know, we obviously we all hunt, and we I think we recreational fish. You know, I used to like uh, Bjorn. I think we talked about going to Critter Cove, right? Mm-hmm. Going to see Cameron up there, and oh, that's and a great we used place. To, yeah, and we used to just yeah. hammer the kings. I mean, yeah. I mean, like I got pictures. I mean, top to bottom, I got fillets that were like. 14 yeah. 15 inches just i mean thick, just huge just yeah. plays and, yeah. and yeah. that's kind of gone by the wayside yeah. and then you know we quit fishing up there as much as we did and yeah so you know i i miss it and the fish just got smaller and smaller and smaller and yeah. smaller and you know we it's like we would like we were talking about before yeah you catch a 25 pound fish you throw it back yeah, yeah. you know Easy. and now like you catch a 25 fish you're 25 pound fish you're like oh. you're like holy shit like, Woo! Dude, 25 yeah, pound great. fish is a good yeah. fish yeah yeah 100 yeah. <clears throat> yeah the problem of canada you know critter cove you know and fishing up there nook sound tosh this you know and yeah all those fish are swimming by all those farm fish pans up there and you know yeah. sea lice just travels to the wild wild stock and all the diseases that carry with them let's talk about that them farm fish because i remember the very first time i saw a floating pen fish farm yeah. up there yeah. and i thought what in the heck is that well, i think the same thing i went by there and it's like you just think how that much feed goes into that water and right. how much mm-hmm. you know they got to feed those fish just to you know get them by and how much uh they got to put they inject so much into them you know and keep them healthy Right. right. Those fish healthy. Otherwise, they'd be all Because they just die off. They die off. They get wiped out in one You should have done this. Healthy. Healthy. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah Stay very healthy. safe. Stay healthy. Yeah. 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 Right? yeah. Yeah. Just get your jab and you'll be healthy. Yeah. That's about it. <laughs> hmm. Yeah. You don't know what goes in that food that they're giving no. them either. Uh, well, yeah. especially in, you know, most of them come from Chile and, you know, Norway, mm-hmm. you know, and, you know, BC. Yeah. But, you know, a lot of those fish are in, raising little ponds out there, and they're mm-hmm. just raising, you know, this certain size they want to get, and then they put enough ingredients in that water to make them, yeah, healthy, grow, grow mm-hmm. fast, yeah. and yeah, and then farm keep them medicated. <laughs> and they ship them off. Remember when they was it last year or the year before when that pin broke up in the San Juans? Yeah, uh, Secret Harbor there. Yeah, yeah. And they freaking remember that? Yeah, yeah. And they're, they're, everyone's yeah. like going crazy. And they're right. like, it's a free for all. And it was everyone's yeah. trying to catch these fish. And <laughs> right. They were catching them by like 20, 30 oh, at a time. Yeah. So they're so dumb. Yeah, just to club them and yeah. <laughs> grab bait. Huh. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I, mean, I wouldn't eat one of those for nothing. No way, know? dude. Not when yeah. you got, not when you grow up eating fresh wild salmon yeah. your whole life. You so, know? The two or three listeners who uh, who um, <laughs> are listening, thank you, by the way. Uh, what's, like, you being a professional fisherman, what's the difference between, like, a, a farm-raised fish and a yeah. wild-caught fish? I mean, you just, a lot of them you cut open, you know, and just, you know, you wild, you know, they're going back the rivers, you mm-hmm. know, and they're, they're like a keystone species, right? They go up there and, you know, they... They breed. They had males, females come in there, and you know they their stock grows over the year in the lakes, up in the rivers, you know, in all fresh water or salt water, you know, and they're and they have a good reproduction system. And every year they go back to the same lake, same system, mm-hmm. where farm fish they just swim around in a pool all day and you know a little pen, and they don't reproduce. They, you know, they're just growing to a certain. You know, dump of GMOs. Harvest size, and, yeah. 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 They're, they're eating dog I don't, food. I don't, I don't know yeah. if you've uh, been to a hatchery and seen when they do the spawning. It's pretty ruthless. Yeah. <laughs> I've yeah. seen all of it. It's, it's our, pretty Our wild. company worked uh, on a hatchery, the one up in Wallace Falls. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> they just cut them open. And, oh, yeah. Uh, 
Well, they the brute, the they, they get the brute yeah. stock, they hit their number, and then they're yeah. like the rest of them. They're just like, okay, do whatever you're gonna do. Yeah, yeah. You know, that's what they do up up on the Samish River, and I don't know what, you know, the the Skagit's more more in the wild. Yeah, you know, with yeah. the way they spawn and stuff, but a lot of it, like the hatchery programs, that's what they, you know, they're wild fish. Yeah, you yeah. know, they still go out to the ocean and they feed yeah. on wild stuff, and then they come back and then they spawn. So those are still wild fish, even though yeah. they're hatchery. Yeah, yeah. but. Yeah. A, a farm salmon is just well, they, I think it's they, pen, the pen fish. The pen they do, the ra- they, they do raise them. They do. Oh raise yeah, them they more. raise yeah. them up to yeah. a f- yeah. certain yeah. size so fry, and then they yeah. let yeah, them loose. They let them loose. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yep. Well, I'm sure you probably have some wild stories, Bjorn. Yeah, what's the What's the yeah. wildest thing that you can remember, or time, I guess, or whatever? Um, and fishing yeah. in Alaska. None of our wives listen to this podcast, so don't oh, worry about it. For sure. So let it well, all in. <laughs> give, give, give it, it all here. <laughs> no, there's a lot of wild Alaska stories, yeah, but, yeah. Uh, you know, and when I started up there, you know, I started back in high school fishing up there, and, and you know, I just, neighbor, a friend of mine, he goes, hey, you want to go fishing? Want to go to Alaska? I go, well, yeah, let's go to Alaska. You know, I'll check it out. And Young kid, that sounds like a dream. Yeah, I started yeah. hearing all these stories, like when they strike, they strike yours, you know, and guys rolling boats over and just, yeah, I want to be a part of that. I want to figure out what this is all about. What, mm-hmm. What's up there, you know? And so I jumped on board and way we went. And and the way we fish up there, you want to have the net out front of the other guy because you're catching more fish when your net's yeah. in front of you know, where the fish are coming. Yeah. And, and there's, you know, 1,800 permit holders up there so there's a lot of every permit goes on a boat so there's you know anywhere from four to eight hundred boats fishing a certain river system and there's you know seven or so river systems up there but i remember fishing a knack you know and and then when the other rivers aren't getting their escapement you get stuck in the rivers okay. right so you're uh you're fishing it's like the mouth of skagit right so not very far across but you got 400 boats fishing in there too Holy and crap. it's just you know, you got net Dude, after net, four hundred boats and a lot of nets. boats, and uh, <laughs> yeah. So you're just like, just a lot of people. Yeah, a lot of choice words spoken, <laughs> and uh, <laughs> you know, and it's it just a lot of just like corking guys. Here's corking, get next set, yeah. getting out front of the next oh, guy, right. trying to get just one be, more fish. You'd be pissed off the whole time, like yeah, I'm right yeah. Ass. I remember uh, this one guy that. You know, there's there's a lot of Italians up there. There's a lot of Croatians. Mm-hmm. There's a lot of, uh, you know, Russians up there. So a lot mm-hmm. of different people come there and all have their own way of fishing. Right. So we uh, yeah. one night in the river there. Their with own these, way. With these guys. <laughs> yeah, their own yeah, way. Yeah, get out of my yeah. way. <laughs> it's my way or the highway. Yeah, yep. And Stan Wood has a cowboy way. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> that's a lot of it, like cowboying up there, you know. And yeah. We had one night in the river there, and it was, you know... It was dark, midnight, two o'clock in the morning, fishing away. And this guy, I remember he brammed our boat, you know, hit us and no shit. trying to get another better spot. And then we're going back and forth, you know, and a few more choice words. And then we drifted up. They're pulling our net. They're getting ready to go back in. And this guy come running up behind us, and he just rammed us right in the stern. Just just smacked us. Really? Oh, man. And I look over at my buddy, and I go, hey. I grabbed him, and I pulled him towards me, you know. And and uh, I was thinking, well, I'll help this guy out, you know. So I jumped up there, and I reached up, and he's hitting our boat. I reached up, and I hit his anchor. And all those anchors, like, free-spooling. So they can just let the anchor out. And I had that anchor just going. I was ready to drop that anchor right in the middle of the river. And all these nets would come down on him just to just help him out, you know, get him. Right. <laughs> just to really mess him up for the evening, you know. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, there's a few of those stories just getting smacked on. You ever see any fist fights or anything? Yeah, there was a few, and I've heard, uh, uh, yeah, we've been a part of a few of those, too. And <laughs> like, hey, we're uh, the old skipper, Bob, you know, he would go, hey, you see these guys over here, let's, uh, let's get after them, and it might have been the same boat, too, but <laughs> we're going to tie up. I'm like, all right, let's do it, let's go, you know? <laughs> really? Yeah. Oh, the old cowboy days, come running dude. out, and, oh, that guy's got a gun on board. Well, we're not going to mess with that guy anymore. Let's keep fishing. <laughs> but, yeah, I know there's a lot of those. Good old stories. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Sounds like some wild times for sure. Yeah. Yeah. I'd like to... Man, I'm, I'm getting old now. I can't do that shit. Well, you're still doing it, so... Yeah, I've been doing it, and yeah, still going at it, but it's not as... We'll talk later. Maybe, cowboy maybe like I need to go anymore, try it at least one I'm time in my life. I'm definitely not doing that. Doug's already <laughs> thinking, man, this sounds awesome. Nope. <laughs> yeah. Uh, nope. I had my day in the sun. I'm good. 
Hey, Doug, want to quit your job for a summer? No. Oh, man. <laughs> Six-week camping trip? Go fish? Yeah. 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 Sounds freaking awesome. Sounds amazing. Uh, full of fish scales and <laughs> bounce around in a boat for a month. Doug's like, it's better than digging in, it's <laughs> digging better, in ditches better than and being dealing a with sewage pipes. Bitch, you know? <laughs> I got a pretty comfortable bed. Laying some nasty on. sewer yeah. pipe. Mm-hmm. Well, on another note, uh, Bjorn was just lucky enough to strike the lottery this last year and get himself a nice quality bull tag. Sweet mother uh, in a of pearl. Unit, which will not be specified Yeah, in a <laughs> region of the state that is not western. We'll just yeah. say that. Yeah, uh, over the hill. He, yep. sh- he shot a Washington bull, and I think when people think Washington, you don't think big elk you know no like you just it's just not something right. that, like mm-hmm. when it, it's a, like all these I podcasts feel like washington is just off the spectrum for a lot of game animals yeah when, they, when like they talk about the western states it's so underrated of, yeah like all the shitheads in seattle to be completely honest mm-hmm. like <laughs> yeah out of it. you know but then you go out mm-hmm. so you get drawn spin us the yarn let's hear about it well mm-hmm. yeah you know this draw start from the beginning the state mm-hmm. yeah i you know, back in, you know, this point system started, you know, I drew right. a tag in, was it 06, 07? Okay. I shot a pretty nice six by seven yeah. on that tag. And then after all those years applying, trying yeah. to draw another magical tag. And back when I drew that bull tag, you know, there was actually quite a few bolt available, you know, yeah. tags, tags available. Then. They used to give away you a know, ton of tags. Odds were way better. Yeah. Nowadays, you only get a handful of tags for, mm-hmm. you know, certain units. And, One or two. Yeah. yeah. So I just got lucky just pulling my name out of that. I didn't think I'd see that green selected on my dude. I uh, scroll down, you know. I'm still waiting on that day. This state yeah. hates my guts. I'm never getting down. <laughs> they hate my yeah. guts. Not if yeah. Jay Inslee has anything yeah. to say. Yeah. Jay, no. yeah. If Jay Inslee is picking the draw, I'm gonna I'm have about hundred points for before I die and I still won't be drawn. <laughs> so yeah. t- so tell us a story though. Like how did so you get you get this tag, you're all excited. How, do, how does this pan out? How did you get from point A to giant bull? Well, this area that I hunted in, I've, you know, hunted a few times, you know, chasing those magical spikes, you know, and, mm-hmm. you know, just looking around and, you know, seeing a few bulls, but, you know, and I finally drew that tag. So went in there and, and uh, you know, I hunted it for the tag open. I You know, I shot a lot before the season, mm-hmm. you know, and got everything ready and just got dialed in and you know it's nice having my you know my father-in-law my dad was over there hunting with me my wife my nephew he'd come over with his buddies and just wanted to go shed hunting or scout for elk for me you know look for bulls and yeah you know so we hunted we hunted hard for the first it's a you know you only got limited time frame on these special tags you know so mm-hmm. i just put the time in i go out there early and stay late and you know and some of those mornings got cold, that cold snap came in, and you're sitting there and thinking those bulls are going to come, you know, if you find them, maybe they'll cross your trail where you're sitting up there, you know. Right. And, and this happens. was a rifle tag, right? It was a rifle tag, you know, and, and uh, yeah, there was just, you know, we'd sit on those, we'd go hike, you know, I'd put in miles hiking. My nephew would hike with me a lot, mm-hmm. and he would jump bulls, you know, he'd jump rag bulls, and he would jump, you know, nice bulls and, you know, cows and deer and i i wasn't finding them he was jumping them we'd split off guard i'm gonna go this way he goes that way and he'd jump them i wouldn't you know yeah it just so many missed opportunities yeah but it was it was meant to be but i was there and it's like but you know like i've noticed with hunting over the years you know there's always a learning curve Mm -hmm. wherever you go wherever you're hunting at or fishing at you know it takes two or three days to figure out what those animals are doing where they're going what kind of routes are taking you know and absolutely and until you find the right one the right area and you know once i've kind of figured it out so you know well i'll try it down there and you know and i went so i hunted for you know three four days the first week there and uh i came home and then went shooting Mm -hmm. and uh yeah i shot for a little bit and then getting ready to head back over and and uh my uh when i was shooting there my gun misfired you know i couldn't get or when it misfired my safety wouldn't work huh trigger wouldn't pull I'm like oh great <laughs> you know so luckily i called my old buddy chris and comes in clutch <laughs> for me once again you know and to help me out that was uh, boy, chris. <laughs> yeah we did some 
we did some stuff though so, to get <laughs> yeah. that sucker back up on the road. We made it happen. We uh, was your grandpa's gun? It was is my old gun that I've had for years. And, okay. Yeah. I just but, put a trigger in it, and oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, so I had my grandpa's gun. He had a Model 700 308. Yeah, you know, and I go, Chris, can we make any of these guns work for me? I just call my uncles, call my buddies. I go, hey, I gotta make my gun work because I want this gun to work. I know it shoots good. I know what it yeah. does, and I want this gun to work. So I went and grabbed the old 308 that was sitting in the gun safe, and I go, oh, right Chris, and he See, we just became worked his magic. <laughs> <laughs> so I told him, I got all these guns tore apart, and I'm using parts off his, his grandpa's gun yeah. to fit. Because he's like, well, you know, I got another gun I can use. And I'm like, absolutely not. Like, yeah. this is, you know, I think we've all been putting in for two decades or whatever. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Zero. You have it set in your head you want to use this. This is a gun, gun I'm comfortable yeah. with. Yeah. Yeah. When you're comfortable yeah. with a gun, it's hard to go away from that. Yeah. You know? And I hear you, dude. to boot, yeah. a to boot, what caliber was it? Well, the good old 308, right? Yeah. No. The no. No. The what gun, the oh, gun that, that you shot the bull with. Oh, the old 300 Remington Ultra Mag. Oh, yeah. Dude, yeah. it was an Ultra Mag. And I'm like, and you know I'm an Ultra Mag man. Yeah. And I'm like, we're going to get this. We're, I love an Ultra Mag. I put Mag. the car up on the rack. I'm like, I'm going to fix this, baby. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> you know? Chris is taking it personal <laughs> yeah, at this right. point. Yeah. yeah. And uh, I did. 100% I did. Yeah. Oh, your mm -hmm. trigger's set too high. Let's put it right here. Yeah. It does put it shoot through, a lot put better it now. A good old pit stop. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Did the whole works. Yeah. And it wasn't, sh I mean, what was it, two days later? It was, yeah, it was like two days later. <laughs> so, day. so you get the gun back, and then your mm -hmm. head, you just head straight over, or what? I was heading straight over that morning. Oh, damn. It was that morning I was going over there. Mm -hmm. And I picked my dad up. I, I came up here, and I picked the gun up from Chris, and then. I picked my dad up and go, hey, we're going hunting for a couple more days. I got the last weekend of the season. I go, I'm going to shoot. Oh, my gosh, you know, dude. You're I, cutting it down the to the pressure wire. pressure is on. You yeah. know, it's like, you know, I don't want to miss out on an opportunity. And, you know, pretty yeah. much a once-in-a-lifetime tag in Washington, yeah. you know, oh, with yeah. these you don't, straws. You don't here. want to eat tag soup on that. No. no. Hell no. No. I just got to make something happen here. So. <laughs> I'm surprised yeah. you didn't quit your job. <laughs> Oh, it was close. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I, it was close. I bet you were probably yeah. thinking, ah, I don't even care. Yeah, at this point. Yeah. I yeah. can't make it. I gotta go kill an elk. <laughs> Busy. Yeah, so I picked my dad up and go over there, my father in law, and he he we all went over there and we're just cruising around and glassing some areas and I go, Hey, you guys drop me off and why don't you go glass up that hillside over there and just you see something, call me. I'll come back out of the woods and pick me up and we'll go and see what we can do, you know. And they dropped me off, and I hiked down this trail I've been knowing about. I go, it's got to be an elk in here, you know, and mm -hmm. walk on in there, and I saw this game trail. I go, well, that's kind of weird. There's some fresh elk tracks on here, and, huh? And I'd start smelling, you know, you know, that smell of elk. Oh, yeah. You know, and oh, it's dude. like you can't so mistake that. Yeah. 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 Especially a big bull. Yeah. Yeah, a big bull, and it's like, there's got to be one in here. It's got to be, and I kept going down this hill and just, like, going down this game trail, and. I'm looking, I'm looking, and I go, I know it's got to be in here. So I'm looking, and the next thing I know, I look up, and it's just like, you know, all these thick trees, but they're all like 12 inches around, you know, mm -hmm. just real thick. And just, right. And I go, there's a bull. Oh, that's a, that's actually a pretty decent bull. Well, I don't, I mean, at this point, it's the last week in the season. Oh, yeah. I'm right. not going to pass. I got to take this yeah, bull, and it's right. like, it's big enough for me. And I had to make a creative shot, you know, but. You know, it was about 100 yards, 80 yards, right in the neck, and down it went. No just, kidding. Yeah, and I just walk up there and <laughs> with the ultra mag, with the Damn old ultra mag, yeah. smack down. Oh yeah, yeah baby, <laughs> that's gotta be that's such a good feeling just when they drop there, it's like, oh, yeah. right on the spot. Yeah, you don't have to track it, and nothing. No, yeah. perfect. Yeah, yeah. I called my wife on the way up there, and somehow it went to FaceTime. I'm like, oh, yeah, I haven't seen much, you know, and just like walking along, and my daughter was on the phone too, and. <laughs> Oh, look at this thing. Oh, wow. <laughs> We're all pretty excited. That's yeah. awesome. Yeah. And my dad and father-in-law, they came back, and nephew came over there. So it was a good good experience, you know, and all his buddies. And, That's you know, all awesome. Helped me take pictures and God. pack them out. And it's sure nice having 20, 21-year-old guys to help oh. you pack oh, elk yeah. out. Yeah. Yeah. And how, how big was yeah. this elk? It was a it was a seven by seven. Oh man! You know, on it. <laughs> He's being modest. It was it was it was, a, it was, it was a seven, seven by seven. seven. Just a seven by seven. Just a you seven know, by nothing. Seven. Yeah. Well, I'm just curious. Right. Do you have an idea how much it weighed? Yeah. It well, I took out John Tuss on you know TNT there and yeah. It it was the second biggest bull came in this year at four sixty five I believe. Wow. Yeah. 
Oh, that was quarters or? That was, yeah, or, everything together, yeah. Okay. Or quarters and everything, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so it was pretty good size. I'm assuming, did you so take you it probably, out whole? cut some meat. Did you? Yeah, I was going to say, did you take the whole thing out or did you quarter we it up? We were able to cut, cut some of it up and bring it out. And, you okay. Know, and, yeah. Jeez, that's. But we were able to get it out. That's a lot. Load it up yeah. and take it out to them. And <laughs> yeah. They were pretty excited about it. Oh, man. <laughs> you know. Dude, well, uh, and John was pretty excited. You know, I didn't shoot him and, and not much hair on it, not much gravel, oh, yeah. not yeah. much hide. Oh, don't, bring it, don't bring him with any yeah, hair. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the next shot. No, He'll let you know. Shot. Oh, yeah. He'll let you know for sure. Yeah, right. Son of a bitch. Jeez. Look, there's so much hair on this you thing. What the hell? For, you know? What'd you do? Yeah. Roll this thing in the dirt. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yeah. And so, just to per- put into perspective, Bjorn is what? You're six, six, three, six, four? Six, yeah. Six, six, five. Four, six five. Yeah, yeah, six, five. Don't yeah. short him, yeah. Jim. I'm not yeah. short him. <laughs> hey. Bjorn's, Bjorn's all a six, five. I'm six, yeah. four, and I got to look up to him, and it hurts my feelings. So. Yeah. He's, <laughs> he's a big dude. So, when you see this picture, you're going to know that bull's a huge bull. And yeah. I, yeah. I posted it. I asked permission, but oh, I po- yeah. I posted it right after I. We got were so it. jacked for you, I, dude. Oh, I, was I was proud as a puppy with two oh, packers. I was pretty I excited was, about I it. I was so <laughs> excited, and the problem is, Doug and I talk about this too. Oh man, like I'm six four two seventy five. Doug's bigger than I am, sure. and like and we Stop. and we take these pictures <laughs> like we sh- we both shot nice bucks this year, right? Yeah. And I take a picture of this buck, and I got a picture, you know, and I'm, like, <laughs> and I'm holding. You don't it even want to be in the picture. I don't want right? to be in the picture yeah. because people are like, "Oh, this is, oh, no, that's, that's just a." I just remember my first beer, beer. nice, yeah. you know, and I'm like, mm-hmm. you know, like mine. We both shot record buck bucks. Yeah. You know, yeah. like they both yeah. made They're the nice record bucks yeah. for blacktail. Yeah. 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 And and they don't look. Mine doesn't look big. You know, no. like yours was super yeah. wide, so I mean, yours does look big, but like, I was like, yeah, like, yeah, you know, <laughs> but yeah, Bjorn, you know, he's a big dude because he's he a makes, big guy, but yeah. that bull still looks, looks big. big, and yeah. that bull is, I don't know, we obviously we don't know the exact score, Bjorn hasn't scored it yet, but yeah, I mean, it's somewhere in the realm between we'll say 360 on the smallest scale. Yeah. And four hundred on the biggest scale, or did maybe you, even did over your green 400. score at kind of ballpark. I I did. You know, I mean, I wish I was a Boone and Crockett official scorer, but yeah, I mean, like, I hit four hundreds, I hit three six three eighties, you know, and right, you know, in that range, and it's anything in the three eighty range you know, to four hundred yeah. range is so stinking yeah. big. I'm if, just glad it was the only bull I was had a shot at. Good op, shot opportunity. It's probably the new, new state record, I and mean, Bjorn just like, ah, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. wanna put it out, yeah. yeah. I, I would say we were down at the sportsman show when, yeah. when Doug and I just got our yeah, bucks and, measured. and mm-hmm. someone brought in uh, uh, 391, uh, 392, 392 pending yeah. new world uh, archery yeah. And I would record. say I would say Bjorn's bull's all of that big. Yeah. Oh, I'm sure it is, dude. Did you see the daggers on it? What did you say? They were 24? Yeah, 24 inches. Yeah. You know, 50, oh. 55-inch main beams or so. Yeah. These 24-inch yeah. wow. daggers, dude. That's two yeah. feet. I mean, the front tines just rolled up. Yeah, I mean, it's, oh, it's, dude. A, it's... Yeah. Oof. That's a that's yeah. that's a giant bull. Yeah. And any, like, any unit, the best unit you can... Pos- that's a governor's tag bull yeah. Yeah. that yeah. you killed on a on a quality you know, bull tag. Public land. Yeah. Do it yourself. You know, crazy. Yeah, I was a little embarrassed. I almost wheeled my seven point out of the out of the corner before he came because I didn't <laughs> oh, want him to yeah. see mine because <laughs> it yeah. looks like a toddler compared to his bull, dude. It oh. is. I can't wait to see it in person when you finally get it back from the tax yeah. And yeah, I, I still have the horns, and he's got the he cut he caped it out for me, and really and he didn't bring them. I should have brought Damn him over it. today. For oh, shame. Yeah. For shame. For shame. Yeah. That's <laughs> a good one. Dude, I'm sitting in the garage. I'm going to have to at least see a picture. I'll see a picture after this. I take you yeah. on the possum yeah. hunting extravaganza. The, yeah. possum, the possum hunting tonight was great. You know, we had to sneak up on it. and <laughs> possum. Oh, yeah. Possum hunting. Yeah. yeah. Uh, the possum for, hunting. For those of you who don't know, I am a, a licensed trapper in Washington State. And the, uh, Bjorn came over to the house and I took him, uh, took him to go. Yeah. Uh, Check some traps. Yeah. And uh, I caught three possums. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yep. In, three. in yeah. two traps. <laughs> in two traps. I had one with a double. No bullshit. Yeah. And uh, these they are both live traps, came in like, what, what was going through these possums' thought, heads? Hey, join me. Let's go with yeah. this trap well, together. Yeah. Together. Two you know, they're, they're brushed in 
real well, right? And one of the live traps, it's it's got a solid door, so you can't see through the front, and right? And one possum was huge. And I was just like, so I just like flash a light in there, and I'm like, oh, the boys are coming over, and yeah. we're going to take them out, right? <laughs> and I thought it was, I'm like, dude, this is the Mac Daddy possum. Yeah. This thing is huge. And then we get over there, and James like, there's two possums in there. I'm like, yeah. no, there's not. <laughs> <laughs> and it was two possums. I'm like, Ugh. all right, it's not the one huge, massive possum. And then one of them almost attacked Chris. Yeah. yeah. It was like, yeah. It was him it was good or the possum. Okay. Yeah. He come out and was like, put up your dukes. I'm like, yeah. you, there we you go. all right. And then the other one just escaped out before we could even yeah. see it because we were all running is. after yeah. the other possum. Kind of creepy. Probably one of my better bear country outdoors hunting trip I've been on. You know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we got, we got one. I've, I've never yeah. seen one in a trap before. Oh. We got one possum in the freezer. It's going over to uh, uh, Brandon over at Stuff Taxidermy. Jeez, nice, how many nice. how many possums have you had that guy do now, dude? Dude, if, Chris has a possum addiction. Okay, here's the deal: I have a taxidermy addiction. <laughs> addiction, <laughs> I, period. Uh, dude, like, if no one, as you can see, <laughs> you guys, if you've never seen the possum mount, so oh, last so year, cool. two years ago, I trapped some possums and I trapped some bobcats too, right? And I took a bobcat to him and two possums, and I told him I was like, just, just do something cool, like mount it, how you know, like. Obviously life size because everything needs to be life size, right? Yeah. I mean, you don't do get sh- some sort of interaction going. Yeah. With I these think a animals. shoulder mount of a possum would be hilarious. <laughs> but, you know, <laughs> you, know, uh, you uh, should on the wall. Just, just line the whole beam with <laughs> shoulder, shoulder mount possums. <laughs> just nasty things. That'd be so funny. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> do you all, imagine the face, dude? Uh, but it's, his dude, his taxidermy is like. <laughs> I went and picked it up, and I was like, you got to be freaking kidding me. Like, it is one of the coolest pieces of taxidermy I've ever it seen. It really is, too. I mean, we all, we've, you oh, know, yeah. we've all seen it. It's hanging yeah. in the gun shop, yeah. you know? And it's and it's a, a bobcat, like, sneaking, like, vertical down a log, and there's two possums on this, like, log. Like, one's hanging upside down, the other one's... And it's just, man, it's just... Yeah. Well, it's super creative. Dude. Yeah. yeah. That's neat. Like, you would have never... Take it to another limit. Never type. guessed that mount was coming out. No. No. And it's you guys, so cool. you haven't seen the uh, antelope. No, I haven't. I've yet. seen it. Cliff and I put. Well, we put it up. I on haven't the wall seen today. it on the wall. You put it up on the wall. Yeah, finally? nice, nice. And it Maybe looks we'll like have to walk over to the gun shop after. It looks podcast. like it's a life size antelope. It's way up on a wall, and it looks like it's there's a little tiny rock that's like maybe not even a foot wide, right? Like eight inches tall, mm-hmm. and it looks like the whole thing is standing on that standing one, rock. one foot standing on that rock and it's like coming around like it's running yeah. off the wall mm-hmm. and it looks that's cool dude yeah. it's so freaking cool oh, that's great yeah like that's su- it's not yeah. super wide but it is tall oh yeah it's a really nice goat yeah really nice me and my dad i'm looking nice. forward to uh maybe someday shooting an antelope i haven't dude. done it yet it's super fun it's on my bucket list it's yeah. super duper fun. little speed goat that'd be fun yeah. you ever done it Never done it, you know. I've always I've been building points for it, you know, trying to find time to go. Yeah. But yeah, never an antelope shot. I can't wait to do it. A good time. It's a f- well with my dad. It's fun. So like we take my side by side over because like you don't ha- there's no hiking right because you're just yeah. you're yeah. you're in where we were hunting them. It's like it's think, flat. It's well, draw only, right? Where you yeah going? yeah. Okay. So it's like think uh, kind of like. Not rolling sagebrush, more steep than that, you know, but like big, very, very, like vast, yeah, right? Yeah. You know, so it's like this huge, vast valley, and then these fingers, and like, so you can glass for miles and miles and miles. So you just sit in the side by side, and you're like, you stop, maybe have a cup of coffee, snack. Mm-hmm. You're like, there's some speed goats over there. How are we going to get there? And then you look at your on X and go, oh, I got to drive around six miles this way, oh, you know? Geez. Oh, so you yeah. would just dr- drive all around, oh, yeah. you know? Yep. And then you're like, oh, I think they should be up over this ridge. And so we went up. That's exactly what we did. We go up this steep-ass ridge. Like, I'm in four-wheel drive low on the side-by-side. Like, there's no way you can get up in there in a truck. I mean, it's like steep, 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 right? And we just kind of – and then we pop over. And I'm just talking – like, we're just bullshitting the whole time talking. And my dad's like, oh, there's some goats. And I'm like, oh, yeah, looks pretty good. So, like. <laughs> the rifles, the rifles are sitting in the scabbard. In the I love middle. how you're so right, modest about the whole. Hey, yeah. There's some good drink. And they're like, I don't know, four, five, six hundred yards, whatever they were, right? You know, yeah. and and the wind is just, I mean, ripping, dude. Mm-hmm. Just like, 
you know, that's what it sounds like because of I got a soft cab, you know, on the side yeah, by side, yeah. and the every oh, it's holy shit. So I get out and I just like lay down on the ground, and I'm like. The wind's like, I don't know, 18 miles an hour, and it's however far, and I'm doing my dope, and I'm like, yeah, that's about right, and I'm like, you ready, Dad? And he's like, just gives me the thumbs up through the window, you know, and, <laughs> and send it, you know, and yeah. hammer no time. Wow. Yeah. Nice. So how much did you have to adjust for wind? Quite a bit. I, I, was, I, I think I was shooting the last, the, that one that I just shot was with my 28 nozzle and I was shooting 195s and it was like, dude, there was a, those things kicked the crap out of the wind. So it not near as much as I would have to if I was shooting like a different cartridge because it's, they ripped through the wind pretty good. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't know, the, the BC is like eight something. 195, eight so yeah. 28 nozzler. Yeah. Dude, <laughs> ripping to like 3,065 feet a second. Yeah. Yeah. That's crazy. <laughs> Nice. Pancake. Yeah. And the other one I shot with my Ultra Mag, and it was the same situation. Like, I shot it with, like, a 230-gram bullet, and it like, Jeez. picked it up, wow. spun it around, and turned it down, and You know, Chris, and... he likes to use the big guns and the big bullets. <laughs> Dude, you know? Hey. He likes... You He's can't got kill the big anything. toys. What do you always say? You, you can't kill it. You can't too kill much? too much. Yeah. No. You, can, you can't kill anything too much. Like it, that's what kills me. <laughs> this guy's like, oh, you don't need a gun that big. <laughs> we might have talked about this previously that Doug could out of a podcast. But a guy complained. Here we go again. A guy complained about me shooting that bear with a four seventy Nitro Express and I was like, obviously this guy's obviously doesn't hunt, you know, and if he does, he yeah. hasn't killed a lot of stuff because you'd know that like I'd shoot stuff with like a four bore if I could shoot a four bore, you know. If you don't know <laughs> what that is, Google it, nice. right? Because you can't kill something too fast and you can't kill something too dead, right? Yeah. Right. Like I it, mean, I picked up a 460 uh, Smith and Wesson for my side, yeah, sidearm for oh, yeah. for mm -hmm. for hunting. I mean, yeah. that's a that's a grizzly killer. Uh, I can't oh. Shoot, I kill anything oh, yeah. with that, baby. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You can't kill it too much, no. you know. And and I think that uh, when you use like when you're shooting an absolute hand, like we shoot like legit Thor's hammers out of the end of our guns, you know. Mm -hmm. And like, mm -hmm. there's a reason I shoot giant bullets at a fast speed because when it hits something. It's that's it, right? Yeah, that's it. You don't want to yeah. track it. Yeah, I, tracking's it, no fun. Yeah. We've all been there, done yeah, that. Yeah, and yep. and to like to put it into like a, you know, I I don't I don't know uh, if anyone else thinks like this, but like if I was a critter and I was gonna get shot. I would love to just die right away. Yeah. You know? Yeah. <laughs> like, I guess so. I don't want Good some. Point. And no, I'm, I'm not. I'm no pun intended here. here. Yeah. Some trad archer shooting me in the freaking hind end, you know, with a bow, <laughs> with a 27 pound bow, yeah. you know? Yeah. Like, ah! that's, you know, that's yeah, the best player. scenario right yeah. there. Yeah. You know, I want, I want to, I want to. You're running like, off with four arrows yeah. sticking in your ass. You yeah. Know? yeah. <laughs> Shoot me with a 500 gram. <laughs> Yeah, I'm, well, sure, I'm just, sure the deer's just, going, I wish he'd use less bullet. Mm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> mm. uh, no. So I think, right. uh, yeah, shooting the hammers. What? Yeah. So on your Ultra Mag that you're shooting, what round yeah. did you shoot that elk with? That's a 210 grain Nosler. Okay. Acubon. Yeah, yeah. No, nice. I like that. I mean, mm -hmm. it's worked well on, yeah. you know, buffalo and, you know, buffalo. Yeah, everything. You shot a buffalo? Shot a buffalo down in Oregon with that gun. Son of a bitch. We didn't hear yeah. it. Let's, well, let's, let's oh, I guess here spin we that yarn. Let's hear it. All right. Well, let's spin that yarn. <laughs> it's not the typical buffalo hunt you're thinking of, but, you know, it was, it Any was a good buffalo time. hunt. It was, it was a was buffalo cool hunt, Cool to shoot yeah. a buffalo, no yeah. doubt. Yeah, a friend of mine in college over Central, you know, and, you know, those days, and he is family owned a big buffalo ranch down there. Really? Tons of acres. Do they still and, own it? Uh, They might. They might. I haven't talked to him in a while. He's a okay. big Chris is, Chris is already trying to land. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's still <laughs> Chris talking about shoot a buffalo. Yeah, yeah, yes. I want to shoot a buffalo, <laughs> dude. Yeah. Did you know that the the guy that lived behind my parents he used to have buffalo? Really? Yeah. <laughs> what? Yeah. Yeah. The guy that at his house? <laughs> yeah, he had a buffalo farm. Really? Yeah. Wow. Way back in the day. Damn it, we missed out on that opportunity. Dang. I guess. <laughs> So, I won't yeah. name I won't name his name, but he had a lot of acreage back there, and he had a pretty much he had a, a buffalo farm. Hmm. Wow! So you're going to Oregon? You're going down to Oregon? To Southern Oregon, old yeah, uh, yeah, Klamath Falls. Really? Yeah, so yeah, I went down there, and we uh, it was me and a friend of mine went down there, and we they had I mean there was a few hundred buffalo on this ranch. Wow! And we could pick them out and pick out which ones and how much you want to whatever you want to do. 
hmm. and I picked one out that I wanted and looked good to me and you know and took that one and a friend hmm. of mine got one his dad got one so it's kind of all oh, kind of his hunt of these things because they're kind of like beef to them they're right kind of beef cattle yeah yeah, yeah. yeah style, they're beefalo you know yeah. it's yeah. like they're gonna yeah. harvest them regardless yeah. you know yeah. they're just giving an opportunity yeah, to say, someone to we come can down pull x amount out of this group exactly. yeah, yeah so instead of just like you yeah. know sending them off like they butcher <laughs> cattle you know mm-hmm. let someone come down and have an experience too at the and same it, time you know it was, how it was awesome a, would that be it was yeah. a great experience yeah. too i mean you know shooting through an ultra mag it was it's good, you know. It's fun. It's just fun just following, watching that buffalo just fall right. over to walk up there and going, "Wow, this is a huge buffalo." It's Dude, a big piece. Big of ass animal. animal. So big. Yeah. yeah, they are. Ma- My dad shot one. Yeah, and I, this was way, way back in the day, at least twenty years ago. Mm-hmm. I think. I think it was twenty years ago. So I think I just bought a house, and I was. I mean, I was poor, poor, poor. <laughs> Right, like I could, I couldn't afford. Like I went over there and shot a pig because my dad like bought me a buffalo hunt, hunt was oh, probably yeah. really yeah. cheap, and you were like, I can't afford this, dude. I couldn't even yeah. afford like the processing, oh. like. But I remember going. <laughs> That's over how there. I feel right now. Yeah. So I, yeah. my dad shot his with a three hundred ultra mag, and yeah. the guy, it's on. I think it's still on my YouTube. No, it was, no, it's not, Chris. Is it, dude? I was. It's so bad. So. <laughs> It's like the worst video ever, just because of like the quality and everything. But the guys, you can hear the guys like, "Ah, oh, this is to get out of the truck and shoot it," you know. And it's this <laughs> big, good. huge, giant, fat guy yeah. that owns this ranch. And so my dad gets out with his Ultramag and literally like shoots it like right behind the ear, yeah. and this thing just, yeah. I mean, lights out, dude. Yeah. Done, done, dude, done deal. Oh. And I remember we went up to this thing and I was like, "Holy shit, how are we gonna move this thing?" Yeah. It was massive, huge. Yeah. You're They're not, huge. <laughs> yeah, huge. But yeah. good eating though, dude. It great was so eating. good. Yeah, yeah. yeah. just Buffalo's giant, great. and it was like you know I thought it was gonna be like beef steaks, right? Yeah, dude, they were bigger. Like I remember, like the ribeyes were like, dude, they were like that. I mean, they looked like round steaks. Yeah. They were that big. They were huge. Yeah, nice. Nice. my mouth is watering just thinking about yeah, it. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's it's cool yeah. that people are you know trying to bring that back. Mm-hmm. Dude, that would be yeah. so rad. That was a fun hunt. There was a period of time where it was fairly affordable to go do a buffalo hunt. Now yeah. I think it's getting pretty high. Yeah, yeah, yeah. People are trying to <laughs> yeah. Well, cash the in price on of that. the price of meat has gone the up. The price so of meat, mm-hmm. yeah. So yeah. it's like yeah, you know, and, per pound and, you're and, paying and, a lot. And, you know, and natural yeah. meat too. You mm-hmm. know, yeah. well they're doing all the crap to shut down the farmers. Like every time I look at the news, which I try not to do, but like you see, like you know, new regulation this, new regulation that, oh. you know. Bill Gates bought up more farmland, so there's no feed for the cattle, and no. we need to eat all this fake lab yeah, meat. It's bad, and I'm dude. like, uh-huh. this is why we got to stick with guys like sportsmen. You see lines. that we're like, chicken, oh. the chicken factories that they're making this like, col- they're cloning chicken like cells and making chicken breasts out of real cloned meat in these like chambers. What? Yeah. That's Bill Gates' thing. Yeah, so, so they're gross, like, dude. it's like a Frankenstein, but it's actual chicken meat, but it's like, how it's do they do it, Doug? Have you looked at it? I don't know, if but it's I in do a know chamber, that they've bro. been they biologically do it in this weird, making... Like, hyp- hyperbolic chamber. <laughs> wow. Yes. Like, don't quote James <laughs> yeah. on this, yes. guys. This is this real. Is Look it up on the oh, internet, yeah. folks. Yeah. totally going to get fact-checked. <laughs> oh, yeah. But they approved these plants in the United States, and they've been making this weird bit, this weird chicken meat. And you guys are looking at me like I'm crazy. And I swear Dude. to God, I saw it on the internet. So I don't lie. Oh, no. I don't doubt it. Probably I, tastes like a farm salmon, right? Yeah. Just, just yeah. Horrible. It's, it's yeah. the farm salmon of the chicken world, okay? Yeah. 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 Well, look at the... It's super pale. It doesn't have yeah. any color to it. Yeah. Look at the uh, warehouse down here in Stanwood. That's yeah. that's the fake meat place now. Non-meat, yeah. yeah. Uh, What's it called? Throw them under the bus. Uh, Impossible meat. Impossible, Impossible meat. meat, yeah. yeah. Disgusting. Disgusting. My sister, yeah. uh, sorry, Melissa, if you're listening to this, which I know you're not, <laughs> yeah, no, yeah. who's a vegetarian, uh, mm. she eats that stuff. And this Dude, is a funny story. She, We had a barbecue once. You're getting cancer, by the way. If you eat that, you're getting oh, cancer. It's I'm just throwing that out there right so now. so highly processed. It's Dude. so gross. Yeah. Yeah. So my sister has this barbecue, and she does all these impossible burgers. And she's like, James, I promise you, it would taste just like real beef. If you just try it, you'll be surprised. And I'm like, and normally I would be like, no, but I was at the time in between. This is when we were, yeah. you know, I, before I got in my new place, we were at her house for like a month. Right. And I was like, I'll try it just to entertain you. But <laughs> And I was thinking, you got to try my meat. Like, <laughs> right, yeah, yeah. 
<laughs> and so I try it and I take one bite. And she's like, isn't it the same? And I'm like, no, this is oh, disgusting. No. I spit it out. I'm like, it is nasty. Yeah. <laughs> and you threw it in the garbage? Yes, yeah. I threw the whole thing in the garbage. Uh, and she's like, what? She started laughing. She's like, it's the same, isn't it? I'm like, no, it's not. It's no. disgusting. It tastes nothing like beef. Uh, it's yeah. gross. The whole thing is so gross. Gosh, and they want to force that on us and make us all eat that crap. Your bison was good, though? The bison Eastern. was great. Okay. You know, I put it up there with caribou and everything else and elk. Oh. And, yeah. yeah, I'm sure it was delicious. Caribou. Yeah. It's you, super you, lean. So oh, yeah. boy. You're a caribou oh, killer? James is a few caribou, too, in my day. Yeah. Of a Chris bitch. is... It's yeah. all. Oh, oh, man. You got a couple of kids. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Let's, Let's hear it. <laughs> you know? Like, I don't yeah. got any caribou in here. Let's hear it. Yeah. Uh, you gotta keep it within the limits, though. I'm, I'm yeah, assuming. Yeah, exactly. I'm assuming Alaska. We probably it got about Alaska. ten more minutes, Doug. Oh, let me check. We don't care. You right, just it was Alaska, story. right? And okay. So I, there you are. I knew some guys that owned a crab boat. Okay. And we had a landing craft. You know, a twenty-four foot landing craft we could use. So we loaded up and we toured around old up there in uh, Adak, Alaska, and then mm-hmm. the western all the way out by Russia. You know. And oh wow. We're out way there. Way the hell. We loaded up a bunch of people that were out there with us and went on this, you know, tour and we dropped the anchor. Guys were catching halibut right there and we dropped the boat in the water, went went up the beach and I saw these caribou up there and we went after them and, you know, and we hiked in there, hiked in quite a ways and there was just caribou there. These, I picked out a couple. I, you could buy, uh, at that time, this was years ago, but you could buy land use tags from the from the town there mm-hmm. and really? so i had a couple of those my buddy bought a couple another guy got some more you know and really so i had two tags to fill caribou tags so i Dude. went up there and i shot Dude. one it dropped shot another one it back dropped, in the good old day i gave my buddy hey get over here take a couple more so he shot two more and we got four caribou out of that deal just and really caribou. just herds oh, up there and, now we got to deal with all this caribou. But yeah there was just i mean back in the 70s the navy brought them all in there just to live the army can navy can live off the land. You oh know, and yeah, have something to eat during the cold right, winters yeah. and stuff. And there's nothing up there in town's 300 people. You know, at max. Huh. You know, and well, I've never had caribou. Birds, so how yeah, is it? It was, it was. I mean, I put it up there with buffalo. You know, elk. You know, it's really? all right in that range. It's just, is it, but there's uh, is not it lean? much protein in them. There's not much meat. I mean, they're meat on them, but they only eat grass. You know, and it's all salt water around. So there, like so. when you, when you. Skin no, and so quarter they're already out. pre-seasoned is what you're saying. They're very pre-seasoned. <laughs> not, yeah. not a they're lot of... Very not, lean. Not yeah. a lot of bulk on them. No. Okay. No. There is a whole lot to them, but they were... It's a know, tundra animal. They were tundra. Very hmm. tundra. You hike in there. I mean, you hike to the top of this ridge up there, you know, and it was just... It, you just you sink down in the tundra in Alaska. I was going to say, it's like, mm-hmm. isn't the tundra like something looks really close, but oh. you start walking and you're like, oh boy. It's like I've already a walked a mile. Yeah. Walking on a giant hurting. sponge. Yeah. Uh-huh, it that kills too. your yeah. knees, too. Well, isn't that what knees. tundra means? Like marsh? I don't yeah, know. It means badass much. truck. In, Inuit or something yeah. like that. Yeah. You know? yeah, yeah. There we go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, what other cool stuff have you shot? I got a cougar one year. You're and, kidding me. Yeah. Son that of one. a bitch. Who incidentally or incidentally. Chris has got this whole giant downstairs. Oh, yeah. I don't like, have a caribou. A I don't have a, a freaking buffalo. Yeah. I don't have a cougar. Yeah, this is Bjorn's he's your kryptonite. He's got yeah. you, he's got you, Chris. This is kind of another wild story. You yeah. know, I was hunting this spot, you know, and elk hunting I had an elk and deer tag and I was hunting in there and and I, I rode my wheeler up there. And I parked it, and I'd hike up on this ridge, and I was hunting. And I heard one gunshot from the other canyon away, you know, other ridge, and mm-hmm. and we're way back. And there's snow on the ground; it's like ten degrees, if that, mm-hmm. you know. And and it was just cold, cold, you know, and wind blowing. And I heard that shot. I go, well, someone must have gotten elk over there. Something happened. So I I kept hunting. You know, I came back down. This is noon, you know, early afternoon. I come down. I see this. I took another road on my wheeler. I was riding out of there, and I see blood and just drops across the road. I go, well, that's kind of interesting. So I kind of follow the tracks from uphill a little bit. And I go, well, it's, if it's wounded, it's probably going downhill, whatever it is, or mm-hmm. what's going on here. And so I walk down this hill. I'm following this trail. It's like, well, it's not like a normal deer trail or elk trail. I mean, usually usually go straight, but mm-hmm. I didn't really think anything of it. You know, I wasn't thinking. I just kind of following this trail. And uh, I had my 300 Ultra Meg, you know, and, and I walk in there and just walking down this trail, just, you know, with blood, just drops of blood. And I go, well, 
I didn't think anything of it. And I walk up there and I look, oh, there's a deer laying here. That's weird, you know. And so I kicked this. It was like in sagebrush, you know, like a big chunk of sagebrush, just grass. It's, mm-hmm. you know, probably four or five, six feet around. And oh, there's a deer laying here. And I kick it and it just roar, just jumped up at me. I just pulled back and boom, right in, pretty much right in the neck and the head, just from my hip shot, you know, pretty much right here. And uh, okay, there's a lot to unpack here. Oh, let's here. Except back here. for, except yeah. for, it wasn't a deer. It so wasn't a deer. So you're a, walking down a trail. I was walking down this trail. It just drops of blood. And you're following blood. I'm following blood. Is you're there snow on the ground? There's snow on the ground. There's like, yeah, it was like almost. So are you snow. seeing cat tracks or deer tracks? I couldn't, I wasn't really, I mean, I was Are looking. you on the marijuana cigarettes right now? <laughs> yeah, I was. <laughs> I was going to say, this was, were you looking at the yeah. tracks? What were you looking this was at? Was, if it was knee deep as okay. snow, early you would days. have to see down at you the know? very bottom. Like, yeah, I mean. You can't really. If, yeah. So you're seeing blood. So what I'm time What time blood. of day is it? It was noonish, and this okay. was uh, Thanksgiving weekend. Okay. Yeah, so. so if the, the snow is really deep, I could it's see deep. where you're not and, seeing right, it. I wasn't really looking. I wasn't thinking cougar. There's just a track, right? Yeah, There's you're just tracks. seeing tracks. A, you're just seeing holes in the I snow. You're not seeing go, well, you're not seeing palm marks. A, yeah. Yeah. yeah, I was hoping. Well, maybe it's a big bowl. You know, cool. Yeah. And, and you're just elk, seeing blood, you know, and you're walking. Block, block, you're curious, like, like well, we are. I could see no a, a mountain here. lion track in deep snow, looking very similar to like an elk. An track. elk because it's mm-hmm. yeah, got a big paw. I go. I didn't really look at it. I probably should have focused on it, see what it was, instead of just I think it's hilarious. Assuming it's an elk or deer, you know, because I mean that's what I've been seeing for the last you know just elk and deer. So when you walk up to this blob of fur you yeah. think it's a mule deer i think it's a mule deer laying there and you kick it and you kicked a mountain lion yeah <laughs> what yeah from this is just from, from zero feet you just yeah. kick it and, right like, and, you <laughs> kick just, and a live mountain lion live mountain lion so was this mountain lion wounded it must have been wounded it must so have been maybe wounded. that was the shot you heard it was a shot i heard from grass canyon because that canyon that ridge came down because i I go, well, if that's going downhill, it's just crack. Oh, my God. You know? This is the best story So I story followed ever. it. You, know, you should have I mean, led with this, like, this, Bjorn. Jeez. <laughs> have you ever heard yeah. this story? No. Oh. I've never heard yeah, this I just, story. I kind of, yeah. I, you know, it's one of those <laughs> just got to get oh, him yeah, going, right. Jim. <laughs> you should have said, screw my big elk story. We're starting oh, with the time cougar. I kicked him out. kicked him out. A reservation hunt. Yeah. Okay, so you so you walk up, and you're like, you think it's a deer. And I'm wearing... Wool clothes, you know, plus all my other stuff that's and you cold have weather luckily gear. you have a round in your gun. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, my gun. He's, he's thinking he's, he's not, gonna find he's, something. He's not hunting like James. Okay. Yeah. Like me. <laughs> I, it's Chris yeah. is the one that never walks around with a round in his gun. I, I always have a round in my gun. I don't have a round in my gun ever, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So you yeah. You, you kick so. it and it literally <laughs> tries to eat your face. Try to eat my face. Yeah. Okay. I went to WSU, so I'm a Coug, so I know the Coug fight song. Okay. <laughs> you know, right. okay. Okay. So I recognize that real well. Yeah. <laughs> you know? And you're like, oh, hell no. Not that time, you know, and it's like, oh, Not this goes. time. Yeah. So you literally kick it. Kick it, and it jumped and it up. And it jumps up at you. Yeah. And you shoot it midair. I heard the Coug fight song coming at me, and I just ripped around. Oh, right man. <laughs> you know, and That's like, some oh, cowboy shit. shit right there, Dude, man. If I, you know, if I ever heard something one. else. And, but oh. luckily, I put a shell in my gun, not in, I didn't rack one. Because I, I ride them on Wheeler, you know, I just have shells where I was hunting out. You could, you know, hide hunt with shells underneath, you know. Right. So I had shells underneath, but I put one in my chamber. Right. And I walked down there. And uh, that's when I got it. And, you know, I shot once. I only shot once because it just dropped right there, but it was at my toes, you know. <laughs> so it but, attacks you. Pretty much point from blank. From point, point blank. Blank. Yeah. yeah. Rain. Yeah. So he's probably like, <laughs> Oh, what's this right here? It gives it a good kick. It's like, ah! <laughs> yeah. And you shoot this thing, and it just falls dead. Yeah, it just drops right there. Oh, I mean, man, the I thing got 300 right ultra mag for yeah, point blank. Yeah, well, yeah, 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 yeah. Dude. But I got, where I got lucky at, though, when I went back, and I just shot it, and I threw the gun on my back, and it's like, oh, no. Now what do we do with this thing? Right. You know, and this is great. But uh, after we took care of it, everything, and went back, and... I unloaded my gun and I'm looking at my shells because I was riding my four wheeler all morning, you know, cruising all these roads, you know, checking out spots and glass and hiking and yeah. stuff. But I was riding, but I had my gun over my back, you know, with the scope back there, the barrel, mm-hmm. everything, the mm-hmm. action right behind me. But all the ice and the snow from riding, my all my casings had ice on them. So I don't know if those three shells underneath would have been fired if I didn't put one in my chamber oh, shit. when I walked down there. Oh man, then it would have been really. Then oh, it would have been fist fighting a mountain lion. Yeah, I'm thinking. 
got to grab my old buck knife or whatever I was yeah. using back in the day. <laughs> well, I don't think you're going to have time for that. You're going to yeah. have to poke its eyeballs or something. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Dude. Dude, that's oh, wild. Wow. I don't know of anyone that's kicked a live mountain lion. Yeah. I think that's a first. Wounded. <laughs> yeah, so it must it had to have been wounded. I'm thinking I'm sure it was probably wounded, yeah. it was laying there messed up and it was yeah. just like all of a sudden it gets kicked and it's like Rah! Yeah. <laughs> you almost kicked So when one. you when you uh, skinned yeah, it, was I there like close. a leg blown off or gut shot it, or it just I mean it this was, was it was probably you said you're young. Sure. I was young. I didn't yeah. really know any better, yeah. you know. And, <clears throat> yeah. Damn, that's wild. Yeah. Dude, that's super wild. Real yeah. cowboy yeah. shit. If right I had there. a John Wick slash John Wayne story, that's what I'm leading with. Oh, with yeah. what oh, you're yeah. leading with. <laughs> Forget the giant bull I yeah. shot. Yeah. yeah. Right? So, boys, you ever hear the story of uh, when I kicked a mountain lion? That one time. Deep snow. And, yeah. Dude, that's badass. <laughs> hmm. I had no idea. I had no idea. Yeah. When the way you're just nonchalantly leading into that story, just like, oh it's yeah. Like, what? What else? Uh, what? <laughs> just trying. To, and then we're both, right that second, you're like, yeah. And then I kicked it, and then I shot it, and I looked at Chris, and I was like, hold on, wait, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait a minute. We got yeah. a lot to unpack here. You, you, kick, <laughs> you kicked a mule deer, and it jumped up at you, and it was eating the mountain lion, or there was like, what? Mountain lion a mule deer, or there was. What, well, you never heard of animals transforming into other animals? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Dude. That's so awesome. Yeah. That is, that's a good one. Well, you, yeah, you nonchalantly bring that up. It's like, what else you got in there? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> we could probably oh, we could probe at the Yeah. You know, yeah. come out. <laughs> yeah. Well, well, I think that's a pretty good one to end on. What do you think? I think so, too. Yeah. Well, Doug, so. let's bring us home. All right. Well. It's been a good old time. We uh, let's talk about our sponsors and thank them again, real quick. Uh, yep. Loophold, yeah, Benchmark Barrels, yep. which is a new one for us, which we're gonna have yeah. some more good content from those guys. Uh, Aero Precision too. That's a new one. That's that new uh, new. Ooh, that's, that's that new new. That yeah, was that new, one new. that we're keeping on the, the uh, DL. If you Caribbean don't, gear? if you don't want to ice your cartridges up or your Loophold <laughs> scope, you could use you could use a Caribou gear. Uh, rifle cover, by the way. Oh, yeah, that's that. right. They make pretty, those new pretty jag jag rifle those. covers as well as they make game bags. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Caribou Gear's a new sponsor of ours, so thank you very much. And Montana Knife Company. And Montana Knife Company. Skin the shit out of a cougar. Yeah, well, yeah. especially oh, yeah. one that jumps up at you. Yeah. yeah. After you shoot with <laughs> and if your gun doesn't work, you can always pull out your Montana Knife Company knife and give yeah. me the old stabby stab. I do that's like right. the sheath, that's why I keep you, on you my got that. You got the, that's exactly yeah. why they I do it all the time, too, by the way. Like that, that ping. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You I pull out there quick. Very, very John Wick-esque. Yeah. Pull it out. Mm. Ah, my gun didn't work. Dead mountain lion. Yep. So then again, thank you very much. And until next time, stay humble and hunt hard.